I'm beginning my journey leaving the southeast to head north, trying to escape the summer heat. I am embarking on this migration solo. Before this, I spent the last two years doing everything with my best friend and partner. From international travel, to being cooped up all of pandemic, to caravanning out west. We were inseparable. But we have been apart the past two weeks as he starts life in Atlanta and I get ready to migrate north. So before we go our separate ways, I'm taking a detour out of my route to spend some time with and enjoy his company. This video is made up of a few clips of us simply playing and dancing with life. to jump in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the heat. <laughs> Is it really that cold? <laughs> it's really that cold? Y'all ain't playing? You know where they hang out a lot in Charleston is um, the cemetery downtown. Can I make some video real quick? Yeah.
So I've just been hanging here in Atlanta uh, for the past couple days and it has been so nice to reconnect with my best friend. Um, and yeah, so we did go to a really cool river, the Chattahoochee, and it was very cool, like literally freakishly freezing, but it was a hot day, so it was perfect. Um, and kind of just staying in his new house and enjoying the AC and yeah, but it is actually time to start getting ready to leave tomorrow morning. He is doing house life and a strict schedule with work and he's right now in acting class. So I'm gonna continue to do my van life and be nomadic and float around and basically go based off of the weather and hot here. So I'm gonna go up and probably go to North Carolina the Southern Appalachian region is really nice this time of year and I'm gonna get to higher elevation there. And I actually will probably meet up with Jesse there, so that'll be awesome. Afterwards, I'm just gonna keep going north. Um, take the Blue Ridge Parkway north, go to Virginia, and uh, see where it goes from there, but I'm not sure when I'm gonna be back, head back south, September, October, you know, I don't know, but it's kind of hard. It is very hard leaving your best friend and your love after you've been together for two years, traveling together and yeah, but our paths right now are taking different turns. So as bittersweet as it is, and as much as we both miss each other, um, we are still very busy in each of our journeys. So. There's that. I'm at Walmart now. I actually have to go run some errands there by going to get a sprouting mason jar. I gave mine away, so I need a new one. I need to get the windshield wipers that I forgot to get. But that's it. Yeah, I'm just kind of passing the time as Jesse's in class, and then we'll meet back up later. down it was like perfectly in front of him to chew on seasonings yeah basically chickpea and seasonings to me it's a little bit strange at first it's kind of like a, a like a bitter peanut paste is what it kind of tastes like but it's good you like it <laughs> It is actually time to organize in here and get ready to leave Atlanta. You know, it's really hard to live in Atlanta in a van with it being so hot. And um, I don't know, there's just so much more to process. Um, my desire to travel to Maine is very strong. And so that's the plan, but I'm leaving today. One of the perks is that we are very close to the mountains in North Carolina where we really love to go to. So we're gonna 
actually meet up for a few days uh, this weekend there, but then after that we're kind of uncertain of where things are gonna go. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm sad. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very sad. Um, but today I'm planning on trying to push forward. I want to go to this place called Tallulah Falls, which is in northern Georgia, and it's going to have a ton of waterfalls, so I think it'll be a little bit cleansing and um, somewhat grounding as well. <sighs> so yeah, it's time to get ready to hit the road and then say bye.